Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome. I hope you enjoy my video. Let's start with some Ushis, baby. Let's have a look at these. So, yeah, it's got three, you can see. And we have a mystery one, or hidden one. Uh, this one glows in the dark. That's pretty neat. Um, what else? Fine, a limited edition NWO sting. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's them all in the back there. Oop, got quite a lot. All right, let's open. <laughs> I was thinking maybe if I push these, they might come out, but it's not really going to work, is it? When it's uh, plastic there. <laughs> I might have to cut into this. Just might have to. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise. Oh, I'm now completely butchering this just to get into there. All right, that's better. It kind of worked, guys. It kind of worked. All right, let's just move all this out of the way. That's our mystery one. Okay. To get you guys out. Ooh, what? Okay. Wow. Check these out. Huh. Kind of reminds me of a um a little leprechaun. Just different color. Just uh, it's black rather than green. I don't know why. And wow. And that's the glow and dark one. Oh, they're actually really, really big. Now, before I do the mystery one, let me just see if it works with the toppers. Da da! It works. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, so now we, now that we know that. So let's get our mystery guy out and let's see who he is. Ooh, little silver packaging. Who have we got? Come on out. The suspense is killing me. Come on. Yeah. Ta da. Oh, wow. Huh. They're very, very, um,. The detail's great on them, aren't they? They're not as squishy as they look like. Okay, I have no clue to any of these guys. I don't know who they are. So, let's take a look. Ooh, she's collect them all. Okay, it's the same as the box. The box has, has, um, has all these on anyway. So it doesn't matter what you look at. So let's check them out. So who's that glow in the dark dude? Let's start with him. Who are you? You're this one. I think you are. Oh, I don't know you that one. Oh gosh, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I can't quite tell if it is that one or not. Because that I thought it might have been that one, but that was winking. Is it that one or was it not? I'm not sure. If it if it is, the glow in the dark ones are rare. So we've definitely got a rare. Woohoo! Woohoo! Good grief. Okay. And who's this guy with the green hat? Because you'd think you'd find him pretty quickly, right? That package just gave me a fright, then it kind of clicked. It gave me a fright. Oh my goodness, it's another rare, guys. Rare! Woohoo! We've got two rares. Oh, this is going good. <laughs> and what about you, Mr. Um, leprechaun, wrong colour. You're common. You're that one there. And this this one here is. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Rhea. Oh, that this is this is weird. Okay, so according to this pamphlet, I think I'm right. I could be wrong. Forty to collect, by the way. Um, three rares and one common. Would you believe it? Adam and Eve. It can't believe that. Wow. Okay. 
new sheet you've gone to the good you've started off on a good start oh series one wwf is it that brand okay all your recipes i'm guessing okay so we've got this oh we've got something to build um there's the make there goodies toys construction dinos four to collect and we've got a triceratops oh my goodness i didn't say that correct did i a triceratops ah oh, goodness me anywho something to build so that's fun i like the sealable bag because you can keep your little friend in there so anything that you can seal it away in is very good because you never lose the parts well There we go. Oh, goodness me. Okay. So here's our, all our... Oh, wow. Okay. Array of colours. No instructions. Okay. So there's no, if there's no instructions, if you're me, I need instructions. Um, but I'll have to go by this and I'll just have to wing it and build it. So I'll put that together and then I can show you. Okay. And here you have them. My goodness me. Now, I freaked out because there was no instructions. You don't need them. This is really simple to put together. And I was really quite um, taken back at how therapeutic it was putting it together. It was easy. And um, as you can see, his tail, everything moves. Legs, front and back, and even his um, whole head moves. Um, really easy to put together. But I'm actually really, really stoked with that. Um, screwdriver for your screws and you know didn't take very long at all so I didn't freak out <laughs> um, what a cute toy I was really I'm really quite impressed with that actually it's a really nice size take it apart seal it away got all your bits what more do you want I thought that was really good really good okay so I'm gonna move them out of the way and we're gonna pull down Oh, he got us a Daisy Duke. Oh, good boy. <laughs> um, loving this. Daisy. Oh, the um the window's just shining on the Daisy Duke dogs. I love these. So I'm really happy he pulled this out. I don't think he when he pulled them all out, he said he didn't necessarily um choose them on purpose. It was just what he got, but um I was thinking, oh I've done that last week, but you know, that's all good. <laughs> um series one there you do and we have got another different one which is really good okay let's get him out oh my goodness no is that a corgi like the queen's corgi it looks like a, a corgi um oh my gosh look how cute you are let's just trim that away so we can get you out oh wow oh beautiful Lovely eyes. <laughs> that is so neat. Oh, I love the fur. It looks like my cavalier when she um needs to be have a haircut. I get so fluffy around there and on the paws. <laughs> but this one's so cute. There's a little tongue hanging out. Looks like a corgi, doesn't it? Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so series one. Um, we got a winking dog last week from memory. And I forgot to turn it over because it talks about them on the back. So, this is one that we got, Cheeks, last week. Oh, so cute. It's like the hound, isn't it? Such lovely dog figures. Yeah, it's definitely a, um, a corgi. Booty corgis are always out for looking for trouble, and this one will find it for sure on the double. And you are where are you, my friend? Oh, it's one and nine is common. Um, oddly enough, those are the two I have unboxed. Um, so yeah, common. Oh, I'm loving the dogs, I'm all about the dogs, me. Right, let's do a Hatchimal. Hatchimal's alive. This is quite a sweet little box. I've not seen these before. Um, do we have to stick you in water? Because I haven't got any. I'll have to go and get some if that's the case. I do not know. Let's open and we'll find out. 
stop waffling and get in the box. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm so particular about opening them sometimes is because I do give these away and I do have to go to the cherry shop and um, give them a whole heap. I was going to do it like before Christmas, but got busy, things happen, didn't make it. So I will make the effort to do that. Hopefully, hopefully somebody out there, even collectors, will enjoy rifling through a whole bunch of toys, unboxing, blind bags, whatever, and they'll get enjoyment out of that. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just slice the top of them. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just not... You know what? Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why, but I've got a cut on my 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 thumb there. Can you see it? Um, I'm not sure what happened. I was the dog was sitting on my lap earlier when I was having a coffee in the lounge after I after I'd taken him for a walk, and um, I got up and there was a scratch there, and I'm not sure how that happened. Um, it's like a paper cut kind of one, but it's I haven't. Yeah, it's definitely not paper. It was. Definitely something I saw afterwards. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of um LOL dolls. Yeah, we need water. We definitely need water, don't we? Oh, so much to this. Cute little box. I don't need it, eh? Um yeah, fill it with water and put it up and watch it hatch. Oh my goodness, talk about LOL. It really does give me that. Yeah, it's totally LOL style, isn't it? Very sweet bottle. Dump it in water and we'll get our little friend out. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, that's a really sweet little egg, isn't it? Ha oh, ha. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So we're going to get lots of water here, guys. I didn't know. Let's get this. That's a really good idea. I actually bought, I meant bought, I actually um, brought this in from the kitchen for another reason, for another blind bag that's going to be opened. You'll see it in a minute. But... Needless to say, if we can use it for two or three things, this is perfect. We just need water, folks. We need water. Okay, so I just ran it under the sink because I couldn't be bothered going to the kitchen to grab some water. So I just literally um, popped it under the tank. So it is full of water. Um, so let me just have a look at this for a second. So we get one Hatchimal. Um, oh, the dummy comes out. You can pop it in the mouth. Okay. Cute. Cute. So, take the, take the dummy out. Oh, okay. So, let's take that out then. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. Okay, so we've done that. Now what? Dip it in water, the little bottle, we did that. Okay, and then, oh, I see. So we're gonna put the water in this bit. Ah, I thought it was gonna be there. Okay, all right. Fill it with water, I guess. Oh, it's like hatching a real egg. Okay, and let it break. Oh, it's starting to already. Oh, wow, guys, look, wee. Oh my goodness, that happened really quickly, actually. Peel it away, put the dummy back in his mouth. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, let's just peel it away then. I don't think it's gonna um, break away much more than that, is it? Um, oh, hello, little friend. Oh, would you look at that? What is it, a koala? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so cute. Come on out. Oh, look at that, guys. I really thought it was going to be like a floodgate or something, you know, lots of water, but nah. Um, hello. Yeah, it's a koala, I think. Do they have like a... Can they, do they tell us what ones you can get? Just briefly looking at the... Oh no, there's nothing like that other than this. Okay. Well, I think you look like a koala unless you guys think it looks like something different, but he's giving me a koala vibe cute um let's peel more of this way a bit like the dinosaur that i just built it's so satisfying right this is the same peeling this away love it anything like this is so fun um 
You're killing my nails though, bro. You're killing my nails. <laughs> um, I want to see. I'm intrigued. What, what it's sitting on? Do you just come out or do you... Ah, okay, cool. So I guess that's nothing. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Oh, that's just adorable. Look at the little nappy. Got little wings on it as well. So there, we can put your little dummy in there. There you go. Ta da Oh, guys, what do you think of that? Come on. That is cute, right? Oh, cute little Hatchimal. What would you do with it? Just a little toy, I suppose. That's really cool. I'm really impressed with that. I guess you can keep that as well. Yeah. Oh, that, there you go. That's so nice. Okay. So moving all this out of the way. Moving it all out of the way. We've got a little bit there. Okay, let's see. Let's do... Oh, guys, have you seen these? Oh, someone's fallen on the floor. Let me just grab the squeaky chair. Um, have you seen these? These are very, very cool and uh, very appealing, actually, by Hasbro. Hasbro. Bro, Hasbro. Hasbro. Um, so we've got the game of life. Sorry, out of frame. We've got the game of life here. It's like a travelly one, so you could probably hook it, pop it in your bag. Do what you could. You you know you could take on holiday, or it's just neat. Has a, like a little side game like that. But then you in here is a, a mystery game, and I thought, man, that is really neat. What a really cool way to um to put little games. So um. We'll see this one, so we'll try and open this one, and then um, we'll get into the mystery one. But yeah, have you seen these? Because these are very cool. And let's get Game of Life out. Oh, don't want to reveal that one just yet. Hang on. What I'll do is just cut it. There we go. We'll do that one in a second, guys. Let's just do this one. Um, who? Tell me, tell me in the um, tell me down below. Have you played this game before? Um, it's a typical. It's just it's been around for donks, we know. But um, did you ever have this game? Hands up, I never had the game of life, but I heard all about it, and I think I had friends who had it, and I was I used to thinking I used to play it sometimes and think, oh, I'd love to have that, but it was never one that I never really got. But um, have you got it? Did you play it? I think this is absolutely brilliant. I don't know if it's so tiny that it would be a bit of a pain in the butt, really, if you're carrying it around or whatever. But it's just appealing, isn't it? And it's um, the, even the chain is uh, quality. It's not like junky, so it's got like a little rubber band around it, keep it all together, which is really neat. So I've just show you the inside so you open it up look at this this is just incredible so you've got your little money so you can got perforated edges so you could just remove all of them to keep them together you've got this is just fabulous i'm really intrigued at what another one's going to be now and then you've got the little your um base um the only thing is though this is paper form so I would have liked something a bit more kind of hard, if that makes sense. Um, but there you go, you have the... It's, it is quite tiny, actually. Seeing that like that is really tiny. And then, of course, you've got all the other bits that you need. Um, so everything, everything is in there that you need for the game. All your actions. And uh, more monies, yeah. And then, oh, and then in here you've got your spinner, and then you've got the rest of it, and then you've got the little uh, tokens there, um, little coloured tokens. But everything is in this kit. Absolutely everything you need for it. It is quite fiddly. So uh, you know, imagine if you're sitting in the car and your your kids are playing it, it could get a bit sort of lost. Um, but it's all there. Now I was just thinking about that spinner. I was thinking, how's it going to work? So, I mean, how would you put that together to make it spin? That's anything. Um, that's what intrigues me. What haven't I seen yet, guys? 
because obviously it's going to spin, isn't it? But it's, oh, uh, is it for this bit here? Because that's what I thought. I thought maybe it would be for that one. No, it's not going to spin on that. Okay. Not entirely sure. But just showing you um, how it all comes together, which I think is really lovely. Really, really lovely. Um, the only thing is, like I said, I would rather that to be a, a hard kind of... Um, board game rather than the actual uh, paper but hey ho but that's what you get in there i guess instructions but yeah game of life let's check out the other one so wonder what's going to be um guess who monopoly connect for operation cluedo oh so there's some really awesome games hmm let's see big mystery oh, excuse me i could have opened that a bit nicer <laughs> Let's just put that away just to help it a little bit. Oh, I was not going to. Let's just uh, use a craft knife then. Right, are you ready? Are you ready to see what it is? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, before I turn it over, I'm going to say operation. Just a guess. What's yours? You've got two seconds quick <laughs> okay it is Oopie. it is oh <laughs> come on chain don't do this to me i'm trying to record okay always the way all right, so the game is Operation. My goodness me. No, I didn't cheat. There's no way I knew that it was Operation. The only reason why I thought it could be Operation was the colour. I looked at the colour and I thought, do you know what? It could be Operation because I'm pretty sure the box is all that colour. Anyway, here they have it. Operation. This, indeed, was one of my favourite of all times when I was a kid. We did have this. I used to love it. Okay, let's just have a look at this one. So everything's the same as the other one. It's good that you get two though. I think that's really neat. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh, that's neat. That's a little bit more simpler as well, actually. How do you... Well, that's stuck. No, I'm not sure. How do you, yeah, there's, a little, there's like a little magnet on there. So obviously when you've got the parts of the, um, parts of his body, parts of his body, what do you call it? Enemy? His heart? His lungs? Whatever. Um, you'd use the magnetic end to retrieve your heart or whatever, whatever. I can't seem to budge that but i'm just showing you um but operation that's cool that's really cool oh i like that that one might be easy to, to use in the car but i don't suppose the other one would be if you're going to lose all the bits but then again if you're camping if you're on the plane these might be ideal i don't know but yeah i like i like that one definitely so yeah I thought that was really neat. And the containers and everything are quite nice. And it's not junky. It's not like tacky looking. It seems to be made quite well. But yeah, operation. Operation and life. And as you can see, I tried to seal this one away, but not properly. Because there was a lot in this game. Because it was with that game anyway. But yeah. Neat. I think that's great. Okay, so moving on. Oh, we've got a soda cat. Now, I'm going off these a little bit now because I just find that every time I open one, I'm like, I've either had it or I'm just like, bleh, about it. But it's still fun to open these. So I'm not, you know, I don't want to complain, but um, have we got, yes, yes. Okay. I take back my own in there. Look, look, yay! We've got the Pepsi one. See, these are the only ones I really want, the Pepsi one and the cola ones anyway. But we have got the Pepsi one, so that's pleasing. I saw that part there and I knew it was Pepsi. Um, cool. 
Oh, that's so, so cool. Okay, here he is. Or she. She could be a girl cat. I don't know. Um, There you go. Pepsi. It's actually Diet Pepsi. Ugh, Diet Pepsi. I prefer full, full flavoured. But um, there, there she or he is. Yay, it's so nice to get a different one because honestly I was sort of starting to lose hope on these ones a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Series one. Um, let's just take a look and see where our Pepsi, our Pepsi guy girl is. Because I got a lot of these ones, the poor Chino ones, I got so many of those. There it is there. Is it a she? She's a she. Okay, we'll go with girl. Diet Percy, Percy, Diet Percy. She's watching her f feminine feline waist without curving up. Sorry, without giving up that sweet cola taste. With zero kitten calories to count, you can gulp down almost any amount. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm all like fingers and thumbs today. It feels like things will jump out of my hand. I don't know why. Um, hmm. Why are you transparent? Are you clear? Transparent, that's the word. Uh, and that one's white. I don't know. I think it's just a... Uh, you could get. Okay, that's fine. And uh, where are you on this? Madam, where are you? Pepsi, 1 and 12. Hmm. I'd rather have the full flavour Pepsi. Not asking for much. <laughs> yeah, she's a uh, common one twelve. I'm assuming from what I see there. Uh, oh, very good. I used to, I used to really like the soda cats, but I'm just having that kind of oh, I don't know now about you. Yep, good old Pepsi. Right. Okay, there's one more. I think I've got to calculate everything up now, guys. Um. Yes, I think this is correct. I think this is the seventh. Um, so this is what I wanted it for. Uh, the slime to pop in there. Um, so I can bin all that plastic from the hatch mills and then we can get into the slime. Why? I was going to say, why is this wet? It's because I put water in it. <laughs> um, so let's have a look and see about this one. So it's called Magical Kingdom Unihorn. Get it? Unihorn. Very clever. And slime for all you slime lovers i love the stuff <laughs> love it okay oh for goodness sake i was about to cut that and look how dark am i okay so <laughs> right let's get you open i love the horn i think that's cool i'm pretty sure i might have done one of these before it's looking familiar uh let me get into it oh there you go it's like a little Okay, why do I get like a smell of like sweetness? It's really weird. I'm not, no, it's not that. Okay, guys, so I've so got some blue slime here. Um, okay, how the heck do you get you out? I'll just pop it in there for now. Um, I think you're just going to have to do it like this. Because I thought it might just like, you know, slide out of there, but it's not. <laughs> it's like. It's like hard slime. And do you know it's that kind of slime that's like jelly-like? Um, I think I prefer slime that's runnier, if I'm honest. Right, I had to shake that about to get that out, but there is still a little bit of slime in there. But here she is, um, looking cute. And there's, actually, I've just noticed it. You could probably thread it and you could um, hook it. But, <clears throat> yeah, she's quite cute. She's got a cute little face on her. Um, she's hard, but I think, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the way she was wedged in this uh, horn, it was really awkward to get it out. But there she is. And um, we've got the slime here, which looks like a pool of um, water. Can you go for a swim? Eee! Maybe not. Um, yeah, just hard slime. So that's what I love about slime. Look at that. You can just, whatever you do with it, it just moulds back into one. It's so cool. Um, Tell me if you like slime. Look at the colour. Oh, it's nice and cold on the hands. I thought it was going to be a bit messier than that, but because of the consistency of it, it's not messy at all. It's just 
it's um, easier, easier on the hands and you can pop it in the container too if you want. Um, I'm playing it, I'm finish playing with it. Oh, that feels so nice. It's really quite pleasing. In fact, I reckon on a hot, hot summer's day, this would be quite nice in the hands. It kind of, it's like that. But I love the stuff. Yeah, try and put that back in there. Good luck. <laughs> ah, don't think I'm going to do that. Let's just put it back in there. But there you go. There's our little unicorn. Or unicorn. And I'll round everything up and I'll show you. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe subscribe i nearly didn't get it out um and i'll round it all up i'll show you and that'll be it thanks for watching even though i haven't finished yet i'm about <laughs> i always do that okay let's see let's see what we got all right my friends this is what we did today it was fun i really enjoyed doing this video it really was exciting to see what uh, was put together there and um, yeah what an array of really neat stuff and of course we've got our corgi doggy and we've got our soda cat and we have this dinosaur and we have our hatchimal our ushis which three were rare uh, three were rare right i think that's correct and we've got our little friend here that came with slime and our traveling games what's your favorite let me know if there's anything you want me to unbox please give me suggestions i'm more than happy to go and do it just gotta give me a bit of time to to get it or find it <laughs> um but my favorite mm. do you know what oh gosh okay i've only got a second to say this really so quickly now because you know <laughs> um i'm gonna go with hatch mole i really enjoyed that i thought it was cute and fun and I do like my Corby. Yes. Hands down. It's got to be dogs for me. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.